Hello everyone. I hope everyone is safe and in this video I want to show you how to design footer menus. There are two types of footer menus. One is horizontal one and one is vertical. Let me show you with Elementor Pro Team Builder. Add new footer say footer footer one okay There are lots of pro footer uh, templates, but let me show you from the start here in this footer area. Basically, uh, for the minimalistic footer, uh, one section is enough. A three column or two column footer. Let's say it is uh, not minimalistic footer, then if you want to add some widgets widgets in the footer like uh, subscription or subscription form contact form logo or something like that uh, many people do it get widgets like adding side logo here and here and there and some descriptions some description something like that Sign of form, some contact form, like that. And basically, you can add a footer menu here in this widget area. Here, something like this. Some dark color would be good and you can add text editor here and add and and copy yes builders something like this and you like this you can add copyright copyright declaration in the footer or social icons here something like this so okay, social icons in the right like this okay now let's not focus on these items but on the footer menu itself for today here arrangement will be like this here you can add vertical menu here vertical footer menu uh, vertical like this say so you can add some title heading here like this quick like sorry quick links something like this you can add a title uh, add a footer menu like this like uh, I have said uh, before in our designing to bar header you re have to remove uh, big point to none yeah here let me show you on mobile screen mobile screen you will get this footer vertical menu like this if you do not add uh, if, you do, if you do not remove this big point then let's say by default you will get a hamburger menu this is not what you want you don't want a hamburger menu on your footer so you have to remove the brick point like i did in top bar menu like this and here the same same for here if you want to add some uh, horizontal menu here 
for here you can add something like sitemap, uh, disclaimer, privacy policy, terms and condition, and those those somewhat uh, <laughs> unwanted but important pages. Yeah, privacy policy and terms and conditions pages are very important part of our website, but those are not the main concerns of our visitors. We never go to the terms and conditions privacy policy pages when we visit a website. So, but they ha we have to show it. If you are the developers, we are the owner of the website, then we have to show it. Even if they do not go to the pages, these are somewhat uh, necessary but not <laughs> so important pages. Like this. So, yeah. But the, uh, this and this is how you add vertical menu in the footer, horizontal menu in the footer. But important point you, you have to remember for the vertical menu or the horizontal menu, you have to remove the brick point. Yeah, you have to remove the brick point to avoid hamburger menu in the footer. So you have to remove the brick point. And the second point you have to remember is that this menu, menu selection, menu tab. You have to design uh, separate menus for your this uh, particular menu, uh, horizontal particular menu, horizontal menu separately in the WordPress menu uh, appearance menu editor. Here, in the appearance in the menus, you have to create. You have to create new menus. Like this, put a put a vertical you can add the items you want to add in the vertical menu and save the menu and you can create new menu for the footer horizontal you can set the add the menu you want to add and set the menu like this let's let's go back to your photo editor let's refresh this page wait wait let's publish this first it condition in their website save and close and let's refresh this editing interface and okay now we can select the menu that we have just created B footer vertical this one and here footer horizontal like this like this yeah it is fine even if it is responsive it will be just fine you can adjust some uh, yeah sizes size or space between some you can vertical padding horizontal padding you can adjust some something like this yeah this is how you design footer menu for your website using the element of pro and element of pro nav menu widget yeah even if it is not Elementor Pro widget, if you uh, use any navigation menu widget of Elementor, you have to remember one point that you have to remove the this brick point. You have to remove the brick point, otherwise you will get lots of hamburger menu in mobile screen. That's not what we want. I hope this video is helpful to you in your WordPress web design designing footer a very good footer using Elementor, Elementor or Elementor Pro uh, 
in your responsive design for your footer. Thanks for watching again. Please don't forget to subscribe me, support me. Thanks for watching again.